Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6. Sorry, that's just a weird word for me to say. Anyways, as you can see, kind of in the main map, we are not in our normal starting area. This is not base, but we did find a village. Well, in between episodes, I went exploring, did a little uh, smelting up and uh, base cleaning, as you can see later. But, as you can also see, I did craft me uh, some armor, but I did find these, which are rare, so we'll put those on, that, 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 also found some wood, and some wood, and some more spruce, we're going to have to find some more, because I don't think that's going to be nearly enough, but let's uh, explore this village, see what they have to offer. Some gold, some bread. Forgot to really come back to here at a later date to really get everything we need. Some more bread. It's not really anything of much use here besides the fellowships. Those are always useful. Another house. This is a, some houses and some villagers. So, for reference, there's that slime island we've been talking about. I'm hoping to get some of these because so for food sakes, no, they're probably not that good of a food, but they do work as food. Bounty board. 32 gravel equals 6 lime glazed terracotta. 5 skeletons equals 11 brick. 76 cobstone and 30 granite will give you chisel stone brick. And 42 granite will give you 2 emeralds. Hmm. That's kind of a unique thing. So we got our little Flare right there. Whoever was in here is no longer in here. Oh, let's check this ha last house out real quick. Oh, chest. Paper. Could be kind of nice. So that can go get paper, some bread. And that can go right now and get that. Oh. So let's actually head back to the base and actually start on building. So yeah. And get to use of that second character which is on right. Yep, yeah, he is on. Right. So are we going in the right direction? Here yeah, we're basically kind of going the right direction, so it is just a tad bit this way. I wish I did set up that uh, waystone. I don't know what that is, but it is at the base, and I can't seem to get rid of it. So, uh, so I'll meet you back once we get back to base. Ooh, slime. Let's kill it. Damn, the slime's fast. Yeah, I did die over there while well, exploring, by the way. Yeah, I've died way too many times. Shrink it unlocked. Slingshot. Ooh. Alright, so what can we get rid of? Seals. Don't really need them. Right. Got some slime. Alright. Time to finish the walk back. So we are back, and as you can see, I did clean up those creeper blasts. 
And also found that there's this little tunnel right here. Kind of nice. Don't know what we're going to do with it, if anything. I might just fill it in. I might do something with it. No clue. But for now, we're going to take this here waystone. And, uh, home. So now we go perimeter or home. It sucks that it requires a level to teleport in this version. Alright, so let's actually get rid of... Move off and off. Shoot. So that they're not just clogging up, but we need them. We have access to them. Alright, so first step first is actually cleaning the inventory. So I'm gonna take a couple of these here logs. Uh this look worse than I actually thought. So I might not actually use these for uh building. I thought these were gonna look a bit better, but I kinda don't. So that can go there. So do that. I can go there, grab this, put it here. Go here. Um, grab some more planks for a bed. So we can sleep. And actually get rid of that. So the plan actually is find some better wood for this because I don't know how I feel about this wood right here maybe good for like roofs and stuff oh, so I'll probably get a actual axe and dump some stuff back off so i'm gonna need that that can go that can go that can go i also got this reactive three book somewhere so that can go that can go that can go all of that shit can go right now so that is that and that probably some of that and Think that is gonna be it for right now. Alright. So the plan is to actually start like right here, build up a little bit, have a little walkway up to it, you know, have a little underpiece, have a little walkway. And uh yeah, let's get started on that. Let's go into camera mode and get started on the building.
Yeah. House is pretty much finished. It kind of looks like it should in here, but uh, I don't know if you saw from uh, the ending of that uh, timeline's clip, but uh, kind of in a bit of a pickle right now. Yeah. Got this brute here. I've died probably a couple more times. Yeah, there's just a ton of zombies here right now. So I've literally just been hiding up here. Hoping they'll become day soon. So these things will burn. Because I've died. I kind of want this guy stuff, so. Just, it looks like he's got some good stuff here. But tools have broke while I was fighting them. I need to get some iron tools. Come on, at least swap something. Didn't drop anything. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff around me right now. Luckily, it's becoming day, so I don't know. So hopefully, this stuff will burn soon. Do I got thorns on anything. Yeah, I should probably gain some health before I go down there. Right, so, like I said, this say is pretty much done. I know, I know it doesn't look the best, but for a starter house, it is not bad. So, let's actually go a little, take a little tour around. So, those guys right there are fucking terrifying. These white hunters because they summon wolves. Terrifying. And they also teleport you them to you. That other guy disappeared or something. I don't know. It's crazy how many fucking mobs spawn at night here. Get some more string because that stuff is always needed. So let's get rid of these death marks real quick. So that J, eight points. Remove and remove. So that's two more deaths. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it doesn't remove the death marks. I think that's what these are. It's just so yeah. Let me get some food real quick so that I can actually uh, survive for a little bit. Do I get any food? So I got these strawberries here. So that is a really good task that we need to actually start to kill. Uh, food protection. So we got this little walkway, some lanterns. Yeah, I should probably extend. It looks, I was not really, it's not a style that I'm used to building in. It's kind of like, 
beach off the ground style um, I did destroy some of our trees but immediately playing the back so uh, so let's actually get our stuff inside So back you go up there. So response point set. Uh, this. Right. So task one: start food, and then get some better tools. So task one is actually better tools. So. So. Pretty good right now on food right this right here last me for a little bit but we need to get some better food going right, so and it just happens to rain so boom boom so get that and that going Get actually any more sticks. So get that, that, so that, then that going. Blow that away. Grab that. Put that in there. Put that in there. All this, I should put those and those that can go away, that can go away. All that stack. Actually, we we'll need some more chest. So, let's actually take these double chest here, bring them up here. Um, so this can go here. This is gonna be an extra storage area. I'm still gonna use that bottom down there for some stuff. But yeah. Alright, so that can go there, that can go like that, that can go like that, boom boom. Find the obsidian sword. And not something I'm gonna need it right now. Alright, so yeah. So now that we have some better tools. We should probably get these strawberry bushes planted so that we can have some what a source of food. Ooh, this looks like they only plant on grass. So let's go over here. Clear out a little area. So fissure plants. So this is just temporary right so future plan is to actually to build off of this for stuff it's like go over here for like whatever over there for like boat access have the little thing off the ground have farms off the ground you know maybe eventually i'll get better at building so i don't have that monstrosity up there so get these landed it's I'm glad that these don't actually approach you, they just slow you down. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so. Right. Also, while I was out, I got some circuit cane, so let's go plant this circuit cane over here. I don't like the green grass here. So I'm gonna need a bucket. Which all my irons up here. Ah, ah fuck. Okay, I actually did do that, shoot. So let's get this bucket here, so we can fix this little area over here. Alright, 
and I built so we can go and actually explore that jungle temple see what's actually over there so for that I am going to need some wood because all my wood is actually downstairs and some torches torches as well because I actually went through quite a few torches or maybe I just placed them up place them down here in this chest did I? I did so we actually didn't even need torches but it's all good so I need some wood so do that some mahogany bolts and So hopefully this amount of food that we have on us will be good enough. But let's go explore this area over here. And since we have both, this should be a lot quicker so I don't really need to cut. It's kind of weird that you can't eat them both. I thought you would be able to. So, torch, torch. Yeah, this is your basic jungle temple. Pink room, bamboo, kitty slippers, arrows, and some redstone. So I don't really care about this little puzzle, it doesn't really mean anything to me. So what we are going to do is actually go up top because that's where it actually is. Actually I think that did it right there, didn't it? Is it downstairs? That did something, I don't know if I actually opened it or not. Anyways, fuck it. Alright, so. It did not open it, but we have it here, so. It's always nice to take this stuff. So, in here we have some more wilder wings, a worm from Pneumatic Craft, some more pork. Some purple rooms, light gray rooms, cork. Is that cork? Yeah, cork. Emerald. Uh, not out of orbit. Orbit loss. Amplified times two. Delay. Not back. Amplifies. Uh, Assignments orbited. Uh, projectiles that were launched nearby enemies. Wow, that's kind of cool. Some bones and some black lotus. And a loot chest. Alright, so. So that's kind of unique, cool. It was a jungle temple. Right, so get back into the boat. So there's actually, I don't know if you can see on the map here, but you can't on this map. So there is a boat somewhere. I think it's out this way. There's a boat. Yeah, because out over here somewhere there's a boat that we can go check out. So that would be out over in this area. Go check out this boat. See what this boat has to offer. It's a little bit of exploration. Never hurts. Ooh, there's something right here as well. So there's a boat right there. There's another village we can check out. But I kind of want to check out what this is right here. So that would be continuing this. Oh, it's right here. What is this? Is this an underwater? Whoa, whoa. The fuck is that? What is 
is this? Oh, nope. It is a warped city. A uh, drowned city. Get out of my fight. Ground slime bounds? Hmm. Alright. So let's go check out this bolt on land. It's weird that there's a bolt on land, but there is a bolt on land. Are we actually going towards it? Where are we? Oh, we're right here. So see that's weird how it's just not really loading it. But yeah, we are going towards it. See what this boat on the land is. What's the I'm sorry, I'm skinned. Pretty distracted by stuff. Oh, that's another nether portal. The animals were mobs. It's crazy how many mobs there are out here. So there's that village. That seems to be everything. So let's go back home and uh, see if we can sleep this night away. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, getting a little bit annoyed that I can't s keep forgetting to sleep the night away because these mobs are bad. And I'm only playing on like normal difficulty, so I don't even know why. Actually, that bad. So let's go back home. Hopefully, the mobs that were there have despawned and we actually go to sleep. Without having to do was a whole off the not. I guess we got two play got that player over here. Even in spectator it doesn't look like yeah. There's still quite a few mobs over here. Including a brute was not very good. Let's see if it will allow me to sleep. Sweet. So it does allow me to sleep. Right. So this is our house. It is ugly. Yeah. We do have a little bit of tree farm. We've done a little bit of exploration. But as it seems, 
it looks like it is about that time so as always hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day goodbye